All right, what's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Um, book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. Um, <clears throat> this video is entitled Are You a Money Worshipper? Um, People try to be say they're religious or health nuts, but there's a, a whole other culture of people who are um, religious about money to their detriment. What I mean by that is this. If somebody has money, it makes you look at them in higher esteem. Now, some of you religious folks will know um, there's a warning to not be a respect of persons. And in, in this American culture, built on that. It's capitalist society, you know. You know, capitalism and Christianity, which are diametrically opposed and contradictory to having this country, but it is what it is, right? This has always been this country's um, hypocrisy. So, if you meet a person, they're a good person, and they're good to you, you might not respect them as much as you would if they was a good person with six, seven, eight, nine figures in their bank account. You know, that's different. You know, they, they now they're they're good to you because they have more money to be better to you, right? It's not that they were good at an intent and at heart and in action and in character. It wasn't good enough. But on the flip side, if they're bad to you, they broke. Who cares? Get rid of them. They can't. They they are not worth anything anyways. But if they're bad to you, and they got money, you're gonna put up with it because for some odd reason, you think if you stick in it long enough, you'll get a payout. But you're saying you can't be bought. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, like morality hinges on money you know like there are people who you could be a thief and made a fortune off of stealing other people's hard work and uh, ingenuity and um, inheritance. And you could have got rich doing that, just stealing that from people. People will change the whole the whole perspective. You, you, you're not a thief, you're savvy. You're cunning, you're smart. You made a business move. You, you, you saw an opportunity and you took it. While hypocritically at the very same time, shitting on the person who got their hard work, ingenuity, or inheritance stolen. Now you don't have no money no more. Now you're stupid. Now you're an idiot. Now you should have known better. You should have protected yourself. Or, you know, if I was, I would have never done that if I was you. It's kind of weird, because there's no fairness, no justice, no you know, no sense of right and wrong anymore. Once you put um, dollars and cents to it or the transferring of wealth, you know, which means, you know, you really don't have a moral compass. Your, your moral compass depends, it, it goes up and down or left or right depending on what bank account you're talking about or whose bank account you're talking about. Um, yeah. 
the other weird thing about it is you ever notice that you know money makes you like people that you didn't normally like but but also money can make you dislike people that you used to like because their increase makes you feel some type of way you know they're the people who who you see there are plenty of people who want to be in a certain a person's financial position so instead of doing what it took to get there or, or waiting their turn or you know following their plan they'll rather put all their eggs in trying to destroy somebody else who, who's made the sacrifices to get where they at because you can't have a successful person next to an unsuccessful person especially if they know each other or grew up or something like that because You know, you're not going to necessarily be happy for the person who came up. That's the thing about um, keep your, your friends, you know, close and your enemies close or whatever. You can keep your enemies close and your friends close or whatever. Because at the end of the day, I've seen it plenty of times, you know, where a person... just destroys another person they'll steal people's money they'll 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 ask for loans that they never pay back they'll destroy people's property they'll you know um purposely sabotage situations that might the kids or 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 business dealings and businesses that don't work because of these people because they just don't want to see another person successful. But if it's them, they're okay with it. You know, they wanna they wanna make sure they get when you win and they want to make sure somebody's giving you a loss. I don't I think it's ridiculous, but it happens. But it's because of the money. You know, when you change how you treat people, when you find out that they have or don't have that's a problem like there are people who you can respect because they earned it but there are people who inherited that you you respect just as much as people who earned it because you're hoping to get a piece of what they got you know and everybody's looking for um, the come up, the American dream, for some odd reason. Like, what is what is the importance of showing off your wealth? Because that's what it's really about. Like, everybody wants to have enough money to to show everybody that they got money, which doesn't even make sense. You know, if you want to give, have have money for comfort of life, that's one thing. But if you want to have money just so you can walk around people and show them every day that I got more money than you, you, you're on some bullshit. I mean, you're on some bullshit. Um, but we, but this is American culture. This is what America's about. I got more than you. And I'm going to rub it in your face. Nah, 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 nah. And then, you know, to the point where, that's why I said, do you, do you, are you a money worshiper? Because to the point, it's part of church culture. It's part of Christianity in America. You know, you got to let the, you, you got to let the people who came to worship God know you got more than them. And you ain't, you, <laughs> they're not, 
if you got more money than somebody that you go to church with, then they're not blessed by God like you are. That should let you know, like, it's a problem. When you can tell another person, mm, God like me more than he like you. Because I got more money than you. Stupid. But it is the culture we live in. We out.